Really nice to have you back as Coach Seth. Yes, it's great to be back. Um, I'm blessed that they, they accepted me back. So. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, we're enjoying watching you play, and let's just start right from the get-go here. Coach talked about your defense, your rebounding. I want to know, do they, well, I'm guessing, so I'll just, maybe I should just ask a question and quit uh, hemming and hawing here. Do you work on your offensive game, Scott? I, I want to see you become a little bit more assertive offensively, but what are the coaches asking you to do? Um, yes, uh, every day I'm usually staying after practice, working on my shot. Um, they tell me I need to be more aggressive offensively, and I, I'm just got to keep working at that, keep attacking. Um, last few games, obviously, was kind of passive and uh, didn't attack very much. But uh, today, I thought it was a little better. Um, I just got to keep trying to create plays and keep trying to trying to score more. Not uh, not let the game come to me, but I got to go at the game. You had those older big brothers, you know. They didn't let you have the ball when you were a little guy. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. just kidding. But you do come from a basketball family. You got you got some other players yep. in the family. So I got well, I got one older brother, Steve. Um, he's six eight, so that's probably why I can I can jump or I can play above the rim is because I had a guard who could play above him ever, ever since I was a little guy. So. Yeah, and you know. We don't mind if you give him a jab. He went to the wrong school, didn't he? Yes, he did. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know how a person ends up over at Eau Claire. But having said that, you know, that's water over the dam, as they say. Scott, uh, talk a little bit about your transition now. You were off last year. How hard is it to come back and get back? When we saw you as a freshman, we're going, oh, my, here we go. And sophomore year, uh, well, talk about coming back and, and how much of a, of a transition or what it's taken you to get back uh, going. Um, well, taking a year off obviously takes a little bit out of you. But uh, over the summer, well, taking a year, I'm gonna start with taking a year off. I obviously gained a little weight, which I think helps in the long run. So this summer, I stayed up here all summer. In the previous summers, before that, I haven't taken off or whatever. So I stayed up here this summer and I worked out a lot. Got a little bit bigger. I worked on my game, so that helped me transition in this year, which was one of, one of the big things was staying up here and working every camp and uh, just being here, working out with like Nick Kroll and Matt Moses and whoever was up here all summer. So, but it's definitely taking a year off that definitely takes a little toll out of you, but you just gotta learn from it, I guess. And, Got it. Come back yeah. tough. Yeah, you're one of those guys that does a little bit of everything. You know, you talk about hustle plays, the block tonight off the glass. You'll you'll take the ball out and, and, and go out and lead lead a fast break at your size. And and you'll go down on the floor. You play good D. Is there one part of your game that that you personally have a little bit more satisfaction and pride with because you you have the complete package? But is there some part of your game that that gives you the most pleasure doing well? Um. One part of my game that probably gives me the most pleasure is just, I guess, being physical and playing above the rim. I mean, I can't shoot very well right now, but I'm obviously working on that. So when I when I get big dunks or score big back in the baskets inside, that obviously brings me up a lot. I have to be honest with you. Zelmer was talking at the end of the game about, well, with the group you had on the floor, if I'm Platteville, I'm following Tozel. <laughs> and I said, no way, he's one for one, he's hot, but stay in the game. So I'm on your back, or I have your back. He's on your back right now. I think that so I just was, remember that. Okay? I was a math major, I said it only mathematically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I've been working on my free throws, been working on my shot. I just got to get more confidence when I'm out on the court. Hopefully, eventually, everything will start coming together. Scotty, speaking of majors, way to leave me out there, Scotty. That's okay. <laughs> um, I'll take this up with you after. Yeah, there, there you go. go. I like that. <laughs> speaking of majors, what, what are you studying and um, where, where are you headed someday? Well, I'm studying business right now. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I just want to make money, basically. So, <laughs> as long as I can find a job and make some money, I'll be happy. I do too, but I'm still, I'm still kind of trying to find that. Too, so. oh, well. That sounds like a Jackson <laughs> Brown song. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a Jackson Brown song. I just want to be a happy idiot and struggle for the legal tender. That's when I was your age. Looking forward to that lovely trip up to Superior Saturday. <laughs> um, well, it's it's another road game, so hopefully we can steal another road game. I think we got 
them on the road, and then Oshkosh. And Osh then, no, pardon me, Eau Claire, and then yeah, Oshkosh. and then Oshkosh. We have Eau Claire at home. Nope, nope. No, three on the road. Yep. Right so we got three on the road now. So hopefully we can get three big wins. But the bus trip five hours up to Superior, and then it's always going to be cold up there. So it's going to be a warm <laughs> weekend, like 30 degrees. Yeah. We'll be out in t-shirts. Out there. <laughs> Scott, thanks so much for joining us. Continued great success. We're happy to have you back playing for the Pointers, wearing the purple and gold. Looking forward, uh, well, Saturday. Let's just worry about Saturday right now. Uh, they uh, they think they're contenders for the conference championship. I guess you guys will have to bring your A game. Yes, we will. We'll have to play two halves of good basketball. There you so. go. That sounds good. Scott, thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Right. Okay, Scott. That is uh, Stevens Point <laughs> Jr.